Yo, Proto Banham has just won double down against MK Leo. Surely he destroys back home in Japan. Wait, what? He 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 got fifth? But they lost to a good character, right? Wait, 3 0 to a Meta Knight? Okay, that's fine. Surely he will bounce back next time. What? What? No. No, 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 no. Now he got 3 0'd by a Bowser? A clean sweep. Looks from like her. Look like an F from Sean's math teacher today, guys. No. Proto Venom did not pass the test. Now they are going to summit with no momentum. Now Proto has absolutely no chance of. Wait. Are you serious? He won? Proto. Make it make sense, bro. Proto Banham has got to be one of the weirdest top players. Not personality wise, but results. Recently, I have been asking myself, what the hell would happen if Proto Banham was from the NA region? Would Proto dethrone MKLeo? It's very likely, you know. No. I mean, after all, Proto does play the character that Leo hates the most. On top of that, with all due respect, there are no top Min Min players in NA. Proto's Lucina, but mostly Proto's Min Min, have caused havoc in NA. However, it is all the contrary in Japan. Like I previously mentioned, Proto lost 3-0 to a Bowser and a Meta Knight. Characters that are not so common in NA at top level. Does Japan know something we don't? Anyways, let's take it all the way back to some of the first majors Proto attended in Smash Ultimate. Alright, so according to the recorded data, Proto didn't really attend that many tournaments in 2019. The results are not so great, but we must not forget that Proto has some health problems. We'll get back to that later on. Some of Proto's most notable wins in 2019 include Cosmos, ranked 9th at the time, T, arguably a top 10 player today, both Kameme and Light at EVO 2019, both of them ranked top 20 at the time, now Light is arguably top 3. In 2019, Proto wasn't that much of a serious threat. Proto mostly played Lucina, who was very common to run into at top level play. Proto's greatest result in 2019 was the top 8 finish at EVO 2019 without a shadow of a doubt. Also, the set against Light. The beginning? Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, sir. oh my god, wait, wait. No way, no way. Oh, he didn't get the spike, but he's still getting okay. juggled. Can this man side be up -y? No! Uh, no! In 2020, Proto was not that active. So, we're just gonna move on to 2021. This is the year where the Japanese Lucina main would rise. Also, along the way he would start practicing a certain character with noodle arms and lots of range. One of the first big tournaments where Proto won using Min Min was Kagari before against Zachary. Similar to Double Down and Summit 5, Proto lost the first set and adjusted to win the second one. After this win, the majority of Japan expressed their hatred for Min Min. Take in mind that in early 2021, Japan was able to play offline, while in NA, there were only online tournaments until June. Back in Japan, the threat that was Proto's Min Min was only growing. After Kagari before, Proto would win the next two tournaments he attended. The combo of Lucina and Min Min just kept getting better and better. So, how did it go for Proto in NA after he had strengthened his Min Min and was hated because of this character? Well. He got top 8 at one of the toughest tournaments in 2021, so I would say it went pretty well. 2022, however, is the year where Proto's career gets strange. Alright, before Proto got 3rd at Ultimate Summit 4, he finished 9th at Kagari V6, which was the tourney prior to Summit. Do you remember that Proto also won Double Down beating MKLeo? Before this, Proto attended 6 tournaments. He only won one of those. Some of these he didn't even place in top 8. So do you see why this is strange? Like, I know people have their off days, but this makes me wonder. Are there Japanese players that have never been to NA that could cause upsets here? 
I mean, look at Akola. But some players you need to look out for are Mia, the Game & Watch player, and Yoshidora. Guess who he plays? After winning Ultimate Summit 5, Proto also attended MySuma Top 10. But wait, do you remember how I mentioned that Proto had some health problems? Well, we're gonna touch on those right now. Well, when Proto won Double Down, it was said that he took a very long break to adjust, to get his composure, and, you know, it, this is usually what he does. He ices out opponents, and some people were speculating that he does it on purpose, but Proto then later explained that his doctor recommends him to take some breaks in between these sets because it's not good for his health, and usually Proto needs to drink a lot of water to deal with his health issues. And that's also what happened at Ultimate Summit 5. Light won the first set, very, very effortlessly, may I add, and Proto went to the bathroom and took a very long time, well, it appeared to be a very long time at the time, to the commentators, to Light, who was very pissed off and also tweeted about it. I beat him so bad that I used the bathroom to wash my hands, and he was in there before me. It's just, it's just, but why do you gotta... What? I'm tight, I you wanna play. play. However, Light has apologized now and said that he was uh, in the wrong for doing that and that it wasn't even as long as he thought it was in the beginning. But Proto did take several minutes to adjust and this has also led to him, you know, being called an Iceman or whatever, but it's because of the health issues. So, yeah, I just wanted to quickly touch on that. Anyways, back to the video. So like I mentioned, Proto attended MySuma Top 10 where he placed 5th. Again, like I said, in my opinion, Japan knows something, NA doesn't. I think that it comes down to the fact that in early 2021, Min Min was a character that you were going to clash into in Japan. So that forced Japan to learn this matchup, or they would keep losing. Like I previously said, there are no top Min Min players in NA. So that is possibly why Proto possesses this upper edge in the NA region. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe because 98% of you aren't subscribed and I know you guys watch the videos and please, if you enjoy them, consider subscribing. It keeps giving me motivation to make them and also I'm chasing down a thousand subscribers and I would be very grateful if we can hit it by the end of this year. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. And until next time.